In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to install Python interpreter. You can find the Python interpreter at this website. It's the official website for Python. Python is a dynamic object-oriented programming language that can be compared with Java and .NET languages. It is dynamic for dynamic typing and it is a general purpose subject for software development. It offers strong support for integrating with other technologies, higher programmer productivity throughout the development life cycle, and is well suited for complex projects. Python is the most rapidly growing open source programming language. According to InfoWar, its user base nearly doubled in 2004 and currently includes about 14% of all programmers. In fact, this number is much more right now, maybe around 29-30%. Python is being used in mission-critical applications in the world's largest stock exchange, formed the basis for high-end newspaper websites, runs on millions of cell phones, and is used in industries as diverse as shipbuilding, feature-length movie animation, and air traffic control. Python is available for most operating systems, including Windows, Unix, Linux, and Mac OS. And because it is interpreter-based, so actually the core is platform independent. Now, let's install the Python. We will install Python interpreter, PyDev on Eclipse, and some other side packages. First, you need to come to this official website, python.org, and then you can find the download link over here. There are 3.6 version and 2.7 version. Because the 2.7 and 3.6 are not backward compatible, so I would suggest to pick this 3.6. But for some legacy issue, some of the programmers may prefer this 2.x versions. So now let's pick this 3.6 version. And there are a lot of improvement compared the 3.6 and 3.5. And we need to pull down. And for Windows, I would like to install the 64-bit version. And I would like to use this executable installer. So I will click and then download. But I have already downloaded one version to save time. So just click here and it will be downloaded. The download may take about 10 minutes. So I have finished that. I will find the executable file. In my download directory, I have already downloaded this copy for the installer. So just double click it. And you can install now, but you will be set to this path. I don't like this path. And you need to add the Python 3.6 to the path. So you need to click here. I need to check the customized installation. And you need everything right here, so click Next. And right here, I would like to install for all users and download the debugging symbol and the binaries. And I don't want to install here, so I would actually install it at PyC, Python, and Python 3.6. The reason I want to install here is because if I download it at the program file side, then every time I want to install some side package, it will complain because you will have the right permission issue. I would like to avoid it, so I would download to this side. But I don't want to put it at Python 3.6 directly because if it is under C drive, Python 3.6, then if I want to install some other version, they cannot be coexisting over there, so I would pick Python slash Python 3.6. Now let me click install. And then click yes. It will start the installation, and I will be back later. And now the installation has been completed, so I click close. The next thing I would like to do is to click control panel. Now you can start it from here, control panel and then select system and security and then select system and then you click advanced system setting you will get this window then you come to the environment variable and right here you try to find the path 
and then this is the path and click edit so right here as you can see your Python 3.6 have been added over here and the Python 3.6 script have also been added over here so it's okay I check it already so click cancel click cancel and click cancel and close this window the next thing we would like to do is you can click Python right here and then the interpreter will be bring up but that's not even convenient so the next thing is I will try to teach you to write a batch file that can be used as an executive but it's a single Windows script so basically right here you have a Python W that's a window version Python and we need to execute Python W to execute this idle.py and this idle.py is actually in the lib and, and in the idle lib and right here you have this idle.py file so we would like to add this script under this python slash python 3.6 directly so you just write this in certain text editor and then save us all file and then python underline idle and then dot bat and then it's created now I can actually run it so it will not only bring up the interpreter but also a shell now let me new a file and then let me try to type if man and then I'll try to print and then type man this is the simplest Python program called hello world let me save us And then after that, you click run and then run module. And as you can see, it print out the hello world. So you can try on yourself. And this is the first part for the Python installation. We will have some more lecture to cover this Python installation for those different side packages. Thank you. Bye.